Hello, I'll be showing you guys the best way to go about um, sidechaining in Reason. It's really not too hard. Uh, let's just create a second instrument. Let's do one, doesn't even matter. Big lead to, okay. This one already comes with a compressor in it. Okay. So what we're going to have here is our uh, Kong Combinator. Um, this pad will always be a kick drum. Always, always, always. No matter what. So let's go ahead and put one in there. Uh, doesn't even matter. Yeah, let's go with that one. Doesn't matter. Okay. Now this kick drum is going to go through output 3 and 4, which is back here. Outputs 3 and 4. And then it's going to come in through this EQ, in case you want to EQ it. And then it's going to go through the compressor, in case you want to compress the drum. And then it's going to go through a maximizer, just in case you want to uh, limit the drum. You can switch these around if you want. You can put this first instead. And then, here's the important part, it's going to go through the spider, audio, merger, and splitter. And one signal will go straight to the from devices and then straight to the mixer. So every time you create this, the kick drum will all be set up. All you have to do is just load a sample. And then the rest of these outputs you use to send to various compressors in your track, like this one right here for this synth. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's take a drum signal and put it in the side chain here. So now whenever I play a kick drum, let's go over here. It'll come through here. Right. There we go. See how it's doing its thing here. Doo -doo -doo. All right. So now that we have all that set up, we still have to worry about these drums that we want to use. And for that, we use this mixer up here. So anything that goes through the master effects or any output besides three and four, like the kick drum, um, will be sent to the mixer and then to the main mixer of the top. So I've already created one here. It goes through the master effects. And the master effects come through here and into this split or this uh this little mixer right here, the line mixer. And the line mixer, uh you have to manually bring it out here and plug it in. Now let's say I want to have an instrument that I want to process in some sort of weird way. Let's go to snares. Just pick a random one. And I want to add, I want to send it through a vocoder. So let's pick anything besides three and four. So let's do five and six. And a good habit is to automatically create an EQ. And this is, I'm holding shift while I, while I uh, create these. And then let's create our, er, our vocoder. Okay. So let's five, six. Bring it into audio input. And then bring it into here, bring it out here. Let's plug it into our mixer. It'll, it'll keep things all contained into this combinator if we just uh, plug them into here. If we like send them up to here, then we'd be wasting space. So now that we have it going through here, let's set it to EQ. And now my snare is coming in through here. I can EQ it if I want. Blah, blah, blah. It's all contained inside this combinator. So now let's just draw a note just for final demonstration purposes. Let's just draw a C note. Okay, and kick drum. Uh huh. Uh, duh, 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 duh. Not looping. Okay. Should be working just fine. 
sounds kind of crummy right now. Uh, let's mute this so we can hear the effect. Sounds pretty good. And just for demonstration purposes, we can go over here, create another instrument. Instrument. Let's create a sub. It's just a normal old sine wave, but through a low pass. And let's create our compressor that we're going to use to sidechain the sub. So, compressor. Alright, take this and plug it into one of these outputs. And if you run out, you can just create another uh, spider audio merger. Send the last one into this one. Okay. So now the kick drum is side chaining the sub. Let's just bring this down to here. So it's the same thing. Nope. Not that one. This one. Okay. So yeah, that's how I go about doing it in every single track that I do. Uh, you'll see this thing go into everything. This uh, splitter going into everything. So hopefully that helps.